Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be taking a look at a very promising young athlete who uh, goes by the name of Ikazu Chido. So I saw the video on Chris Sumo's channel, and I was very impressed. So both arts are very similar in a lot of ways, but obviously the jacket is playing a role in judo. So we're going to see how his skills and footwork transitioned into sumo so i'm gonna be sharing a little bit of the judo that i caught um, so there he is 17 years old six feet tall 92 kilos and yet he looks very skinny next to the other sumo wrestlers so there he is ikazu chido if i'm not mistaken he is nigerian and japanese um, so here you see his grips over and under gripping the belt going for a side uchimata so a spin out uchimata here where you hook the leg and going to the side is very good especially when going against heavier opponents so here you see joshiro mariyama goes to the side then hooks the leg and reaps the thigh so uh, it's very important to have this type of footwork especially when you're the lightweight in sumo because this is what will help you survive and actually get the win so it's a little bit different than your kakenage because of the direction of the throw yet they're both reaping the thigh so next here against takemaru a much heavier opponent as you can see he's circling him leading him once he gets his underhook and also his belt grip notice how he pulls the belt towards him and then with the underhook he sends him flying for what is called in judo an uki otoshi or a floating drop this is the first technique found in the nage no kata or the form of throwing um, this is one of the hardest techniques to pull off in judo but when you don't have jacket the distance is much closer and you can pull it off much easier so you can see it in both and of course in sumo so here another one gets over and under another uki otoshi but here he did not uh, put him on his back but the fact that he touched the ground is a win in sumo here he is fighting getting the belt grip over and under both gets uh, taken down but Notice his footwork, he's spinning out to the side because in the center he is much weaker. So this is something you see in judo all the time. Uh, let's take an example of Inoue Kose, the greatest to ever produce an Uchimata. Goes to the side, very similar. Notice the footsteps that allows him to get to the side. And then with the great pull on the lapel, it gets him down. Easily one of the best uh uchimata as you will see against a giant rotates him flat on his back but in judo obviously you're gonna have a lot more this than the casual ippon occasional ippon so this is the same you know Kose against steady rene you get pushed very similar to what happened to ikazu chido and hitting the mat other than the soles of your feet you are uh, eliminated so it was a loss so Sumo is an art that I really appreciate. There is one club in Paris. Uh, i seriously thinking of reaching out and actually fighting there. So uh, let me know if you want to see that because uh, it's been on my list for a long time. But other than that, this is a very aspiring young kid, 17 years old, and uh, he's showing a lot of skill uh, when he's packing on far more weight and experience. I think he's going to produce a lot of great matches so i'll link chris sumo's uh, video in the description below if you have anything else to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening